Hello, um, my name is Aiki Bay. Um, I'm a photographer and this is my story. Um, so this is my story. Um, I became a photographer um, for a couple of reasons. Um, growing up, I didn't have pictures of myself and I realized that I could be forgotten. And I realized making memories was something that was important. I didn't have a lot of pictures growing up as a child and I, I could go, I could remember um, times where I would visit friends and I would see like um, family albums and I didn't have all of that growing up. And I wanted to start by creating memories for myself and that developed into creating memories for other people. You know, that is one story. Um, so as for challenges, um, well, Challenges in every profession is mostly from the beginning finance, um, setting up, getting the right gear to start up. Then there's always the technical knowledge, um, having to intern with people, having to learn online, having to go to like photography classes, formal and informal, and of course practicing. Then of course we tango for YouTube and friends and the space to actually um, practice, the space to develop personal crafts. You know, learning what kind of photography I was going to be into from portraits to commercial to weddings to food, lifestyle, you know, all of that. You know, there are a bunch of challenges from um, knowing what it is, learning the business of photography, learning how to get the right gear and all of that. Um, my initial dream as a child is to be an archaeologist or a computer scientist and you know, I come from a family of professionals. Um, my dad is a chartered accountant, my mom is a business person, I have in my family we have um, different um, from architects like that, you know. But being a photographer, it 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 came as a shock to my parents. It wasn't very accepting at first, but we were given free hand to do what we wanted and I think my family trusted me to make the right decisions and I was I've always been a well behaved child, so and they just assumed or they trusted me to do, you know take my part and they let me you know, have my ring. So one of the greatest challenges I've had um, developing myself to become where I am now is getting people to see my work and accepting my work or creating a body of work or a standard of work that will be acceptable to myself and to the quality that I want it to be. Um, growing up, it's easy to say you want to be a photographer, it's easy to want to take pictures, but creating images that are not just mind-blowing, but that are inspiring to myself first and to my audience and knowing who my audience were. And of course, um, understanding the market because um, photography as a passion is different from photography as an occupation or as a full-time job. And knowing how to sell my work, how to turn it into a business, that was a challenge, but we're still getting the hang of it. Um, my first client, my first client. So at the time when I started photography, I worked in a place where there was a music studio. So we had a lot of um, recording artists come to record. And that was easy for me to work with them because they will always want like pictures for their song arts and all of that. So I started taking pictures of them and pictures of my friends. And I started getting paid jobs, mostly from, from recording artists, uh, church members and family and friends before developing or growing a bigger, wider client base. Starting photography, my first investment, how I started, basically, um, I took a loan. I had to take a loan to get my first camera and to get uh, my basic equipment, you know, my first lights, everything. I literally had to take a massive loan because I just believed that, okay, I would be able to be hardworking enough to make sales and you know, I, almost didn't, I almost wasn't able to pay back, but I took a loan um, to be able to raise money to start up and get the, my first gear. Um, my advice for people that want to start photography is just start. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to, you don't have to have everything. If you want to start with a phone, I mean, now we have phone photographers that are amazing. You can take pictures with your phone. But I believe with photography, the first thing is to have the image in your head first. Once you have the picture in your head, once you're creative, you can create stuff. You can borrow, you can intern somewhere, you can work under people. Working on that people, you get experience, you get access to equipment, you get you don't even have to own your things first. You can get access to other people, you can create the community or you can join the community. Just start. 
because it's the hardest thing is to start and once you start it gets easier it gets better it gets more manageable and you get to build communities you get to develop capacity you get to understand yourself understand the craft and get better in photography my specialty is portraits and fine art i also take amazing um, fashion pictures and i would say um what makes my images different from everybody's images is not because i'm the best photographer or i'm better than everybody else it's because um i put me into it you can tell from my images that this was taken by me you can tell my images um how i translate my ideas how i um translate my thoughts how i translate everything i put into it my images have a piece of me in them um, i like my images to tell a story from fashion images to creative portraits to fine art even to food photography i like my images to be simple so i take the most simple images i take the most clean images i do not like to be overly dramatic with my pictures i like my images to be similar to what you will see in real life i like to take pictures i like to take pictures where um, you can relate i like my images to be relatable i like to speak to my audience in simple terms and in the clearest of words Hello, um, my name is Aikibe. Um, I'm a photographer and this is my story.